Let's start by setting up the app v5 management server. So as you might be able to tell from my demonstration, I am using a Windows Server 2012 machine. Now Windows Server 2012 comes with uh, the latest .NET framework already pre-built into the operating system. So that is actually a prerequisite for AppV5. So if you're using Windows Server 2008 R2, for example, or older, uh, you will require to download at least .NET Framework version 4. Um, also part of the build on uh, Windows Server 2012 is PowerShell 3.0, which is also a prerequisite for AppV5. Uh, this is, as I had mentioned earlier, uh, an integral part of AppV5 and one of the new features. Um, also prerequisites for AppV5 is uh, Visual C++ redistributable, 2005 SP1 and Visual C++ redistributable 2010 SP1. Um, those are freely available to download. Uh, you can go out to the TechNet site and uh, go to the AppV5 prerequisites and you can find uh, hyperlinks to download them there or you can go to my own website RoryMon.com and look at my blog how to set up the AppV5 streaming server. I have uh, hyperlinks to the prerequisites there. Um, also a uh, point of interest, Silverlight is a prerequisite and that's because Silverlight uh, really drives the user interface section of the AppV management website and also the AppV client for the client piece but uh, let's focus on the AppV management server now. So I have all my prerequisites already installed on the server machine. What I do not have is the roles and features that are required so let's go through that first. So I'm going to browse to control panel for here. Uh, the, the layout of Windows Server 2012 is a little different if you, you haven't used it already. Uh, it's definitely worth a look to get yourself into it. Um, there's a few ways you could do this. You could open Server Manager directly or see I, I'm kind of still in my old habits. I, I was going to Control Panel there. Okay, let's browse through. We want to do it on this server. Now, what we want here is web server because AppV does have three web services which I had mentioned before. Here let's hit next. Let's hit next again. When our role services you can see under the common HTTP features I've got a default document which is required static content and if I scroll down you can see static content compression under performance request filtering and Windows authentication under security. Under application development I've included ASP and ASP.NET and the .NET extensibilities as well as ISAPI extensions and ISAPI filters. And I'm also including the uh, management tools IIS Management Console and I like to include everything under IIS. That's my own habit. You may do it differently, but this is just how I do it. Okay, with that, I'm going to hit next. Let's hit install. Okay, this is just going to install uh, the web service IIS for us, which AppV is going to leverage for the three web services that are required. Um, I'm just going to fast forward through this for your convenience. 